Okay, welcome back to uh, Let's Play Donkey Kong Country 2, Diddy's Conquest. Um, we're, it's just gonna be me and Scrappy today. Uh, uh, great start. Um, Hopefully I won't be cutting out like we did last time. <laughs> uh, is, your, is your internet better than it was before? It should be. Alright. But yeah, Jason's on holiday right now and is internet isn't exactly the, the best over where he is right now so like just i was in a call with him the other day and uh it's it's a task to just be able to understand what he's saying so yeah we're just gonna be it's just gonna be us two for today so uh bonus areas in this level <coughs> Immediately after, you'll, when you find Ra Rambi's no animal sign, you'll find your first bonus area. Okay. So you just... No! Well, you'll find her. You'll find a cloak. Those floating jackets. Do I need Rambi? No. Oh, okay, good. Like, if you see that cloak next to a bunch of bananas that are in the shape of an arrow, the cloak will move to the left, and you gotta chase the cloak all the way to the end of a big platform. Oh, oops. I got very The cloak will throw a treasure chest that contains a cannonball, with a K, that's spelled with a K. Okay. After they release the cannonball from the chest, they must pick it up and carry it to the left, where a cannon sits on a lily pad. Insert the cannonball into the cannon, and then enter the object, and you'll be shot at the bonus level. I am not doing well. I'll be more at home when we, when I, pl uh, LP the Returns games. So I'm actually familiar with those. No! <laughs> Out of the uh, ones you played, what uh, what's, what's your favorite favorite Donkey, Donkey Kong Country game from what you played? Um. Returns, I guess. Mm. Did you uh, play Tropical Freeze at all? Nope. Ah. Uh, they if um the, there's like a Wii U eShop for the Switch, they they should definitely release that on the. Oh, I need a cannonball. Um. Yeah, the cloak that was. Past Rambi's sign, or no animal sign, should have had led you to one. But, there we go. Okay. So I need to get this guy. Make him go to the left, just wait a few seconds. Oh, okay. Follow him. Oops. And, there we go. Okay, this should be it, right? Yeah. Cool. <laughs> I should be able to do this. Killing wildlife. That's a lot easier than what we've done before, so that was nice. Oh, crap. Oh, I got some. Can't even, it doesn't even change. Oh. <laughs> Con. Yeah, like the uh, armadillos in the first game, the uh, little spider ant things take two hits and uh, still as annoying. Mm. Alright. I don't feel safe doing that with Dixie. How many uh, 
bonus stages are in this level. A second one. Just before reaching the end of the level, the primates make their way onto a platform with a bonus barrel and a little spinal cloak floating above it. Oh, okay. You'll, have to, you'll need both Kongs. Oh, or okay. not. By using their team-up move or by bouncing on a barrel thrown by the nearby cloak, the Kongs can make their way into the bonus barrel. Alright, can I... I should be able to throw... Yeah, there we go, that works. Uh, what about the, uh, DK coin? Oh, it was with Rambi. I'm so sorry. Oh! <laughs> Uh, we can get that, uh, quickly, I guess. We're at the Hidden near the, near the beginning of the level, so... Alright, that's fine. A small platform in the center of a water area. They must lead him to the nearest no animal sign. If they reach a the sign with the rhino, he disappears and they give a decoy kind. DK coin. Alright, I messed it up. Hundred percent playthrough. I mean, we've gone this far, so we might as well go all the way. Can you jump on the cloaks? Uh, probably, but I don't want to risk losing a con right now. Right. Okay, so what do I do? I go back, or no, no, let's go to the animal sign. Ah, uh, alright, so just don't, don't fail. Oh gosh, no! no! Actually, might be a little bit cheap, but I'm gonna, I might actually save state when we get Rambo. <laughs> oh crap. That was great. No! <laughs> Why? Okay, I'm just going to ignore those guys. Surprised Rambi can go in these barrels. The versatile rhino. Yeah, seriously. Galleon. Alright, I don't remember this level at all, so... Oh. This ain't a good sign. Let's see what we got. I found a secret banana stash, so that's cool. That can't be all to this. Yeah. Oh, okay. So we found a DK coin already, that's good. Oh, that's good. Um. At the start of the level, the Kongs just swim straight up and head between several barrels. Yeah. And yeah, on guard's not in this level, so uh, you're pretty much on your own. So, is there any like bananas and the DK coin over here, or is that a bonus? At the start of the level, there should be a bonus level. Oh, okay. Swim straight up and head between several barrels. Once they are in a more spacious area, they can discover an open crate jutting from the wall. Oh, it's this? Yeah, I found it. Okay, cool. It's one of those background pump tricks that they do. It's hard, for, it's hard for me to tell because it's like so dark. This is the problem of pre rendering stuff. Yeah. So 
I guess I just have to find the exit, yeah. Alright. So the two or three bonuses. Yeah. Two. The right. second one we found at the end of the level. Alright, so let's just move on then. Did that Kremlin get marooned on, in the ship while it was sinking? <laughs> well, why is that enemy even there? You can, like... You'd have to, you'd have to try to get hurt by that guy. He can't swim, he's just walking. Yeah. So I think I... he got stuck here. <laughs> so, okay, we'll just like, I'm gonna flood this place and you're just gonna stay here. Okay, is that cool? Oh, I hate these guys. They don't make life any easier. Glamour might be the only benevolent angler fish I've seen in the video game. Yeah. Except for some Pokemon, but that is literally it. Uh, maybe Rayman Origins, because they act as a light. Like, they can hurt you, but they don't actively go for you. <clears throat> this is the best I've got! Okay. Ah. No. Checkpoint. Oh boy. Oh. Can you? How? Huh? What were you saying? Oh, I was. I know. I was just saying. I was kind of a bit, kind of a bit close. How are the swimming controls in this game? Uh, the swimming feels fine, but like, what screws me up is that, uh, when, when I press the, uh, button to go up, I, and, I always end up going higher than I expect it to, so it, that usually makes me get hit, but other than that, it's, it works fine. Have we, uh, passed the area? Yeah. The what? Have we passed the bonus area yet? It's towards the end of the level. Alright. You'll find a puffed up, a puffed up, those puffer fish I guess, and a group of bananas over some crates that form the shape of an arrow pointing east. Okay. When you see an arrow, don't follow it, head south. Ah. Uh. You'll find a lockjaw and a tight passage below it. Travel through the passage, you'll find an open crate. Oh, okay, okay, cool. I was wondering, like, if the lockjaws were the weird piranha fish things. Wait, what? Find a token, was it? In our maze. Right. Oh, this is not gonna be nice. Wait, I'm the Dixie. Uh, she got hurt. Thankfully we're near the end of the level, so hopefully we should be fine. Dead end. Oh, hi. It literally does not show him until you actually get to it. Yeah. So you kind of just have to hope. Let me just get to the end, please. I don't want to die right now. What? Oh, that's cool. Why you gotta leave, leave that enemy there? <laughs> so imagine if you went that far and you just died to that. Uh, no, I don't need, really need these. Oh, 
Oh, that's why they... So the actual level is called Bramble Blast. That's, that's, I guess that's why they called it that in Brawl. It's all explained to me why that song is called Sticker Brush Symphony. Mm. Alright, so what are we looking for here? Almost immediately for the bonus level. This is Crockett Clamber, correct? I think so, yeah. Almost immediately after passing the star barrel, the group can discover a bonus barrel above a no animal sign. Alright. So I'll just use your team up move to send your other Kong in. Alright. Uh, DK coin? Uh, it's the very beginning of the level, excuse me. <laughs> oh, 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 well. It's like they, the, the Mario Wookie always lists the bonus level before the DK coin, even if the DK <laughs> coin's located first. Uh. The cause must look behind themselves to discover two zingers. I've messed it up. Oh, there's a DK barrel. Okay. Or I can just die. <laughs> she just started crying. Mm -hmm. Uh. Alright. Who is this little Kremlin? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that takes it. That makes it a little bit easier. Why? Did, wait, did he get hurt? Um, technically yes, but it doesn't count as a death, so... Wait, how am I supposed to do Whoa. Oh, this is evil. Okay, that tech counter doesn't hurt. Uh, wait, what's going on? I messed up. Is it, like, all the way over there? They must cross the pitch using a super jump ability while dodging a few zingers that float in their way. There are two groups of zingers piled on top of each other ahead of here, and the Kongs must use their team up move again to travel past them where a treasure chest where a treasure chest containing a DK coin is located. Man, that's evil enemy placement. Welcome to Donkey Kong Country. No, I don't hit okay. It's not uh It's not aiming it like I wanted it to. I'm trying to like try and do it more diagonally but it's like going really slow. What? We never found out how Diddy and Dixie met. We never found out how Diddy and Dixie met. Oh no, y yeah, like Dixie just kind of appears. No real explanation. You heartless monster. Hmm. I know there's something we can do with this. No, I, I don't know. No, that's gonna. Ugh, man. Why does it keep throwing it like that? I think their arcs change depending on who's throwing who. Alright. <laughs> that was dangerous. Alright, let's give that a try. Eh. Yeah. Oh, then never mind. Never trust me on anything. <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Hmm. Maybe I can get like just enough height and pon uh, ponytail. Oh, that feels so uncomfortable to do. Because there's always this like delay with Dixie's tail whip. When I whip my hair back, when I whip my hair back. I didn't know King Hyrule was in the child soldiers. Mm -hmm. I'll do this with Diddy. Uh, no, there's no way that's high enough. 
What is that barrel for? Does it send you back? Uh, yeah. Kind of, I figured as much. Okay, is that thing gonna reappear if I go back? Yeah. Nope. And now, hmm. if I ah, that might work if I aim it right better. All this for a DK coin. That. Okay. Attempt fifteen, I guess. Maybe. I'm not keeping track. At least we can keep getting lies. That's a good thing. How am I supposed to get over to Diddy? Maybe I'm supposed to toss him over the whole way after you get the coin. Mm. Oh well, there we go. Oh, and that well. should be the. That should be the. That yep. should be the. There we go. I I don't understand how you're supposed to do that without doing weird glitchy stuff. It's not glitching if you sacrifice one of your Kongs. <laughs> Not sure if I call that good level, good game design, but it's it doesn't fair. feel it doesn't feel like that's the way to do it. Can I please get a uh, DK barrel? That would be nice. Yes. Oh, jeez, he was just coming by to say hello. <laughs> I wasn't even planning for that. That was a cool. That was cool. Had a wife and kids, Harry. They shouldn't have kin kidnapped Danky Kang then. He was just a grunt. <laughs> he didn't know any better. Right, checkpoint. Let's see. After the star barrel, we should do. This group can discover a bonus barrel above a no animal sign. Use a team up move to access the bonus barrel. Yep. Destroy them all! Oh, spider. You're gonna have to, like, yeah. Turn around? Alright. Yeah, spider killage. Spider Man, Spider Man. And that's all your. Oh, I should have shot that guy if I could. Spider Kong, Spider Kong, does whatever Spider Kong does. Oh, does this just send the... Yeah, it just slows them down for the time, because I can actually hop on them. Oh, okay. I was wondering, like, what the... Get the coin! Yeah! Oh, I don't like this at all. <laughs> a lot of, uh... All dancing Kremlings? Well, that too, but a lot of, um, do or die platforming. Oh, apparently I got all the bonuses. Okay. Yeah, there's only one. Still have to finish the level though. Just, I cannot stop laughing at that little crumbling with our cutlasses. <laughs> Man, he was just doing his job. He's so enthusiastic. I can't hate him. 
Like, what is even the these guys' jobs, like, going up and down these poles, like... They're just entertainment. <laughs> Oh, you can't jump on them? I think you can, but... Mm. Alright, let me try... Yeah, there we go. Because that screwed me up, because I didn't think you could do that. So I did that, and then I just died and got confused. I do like that kind of platforming. It's very satisfying. I'm still beautiful! <laughs> ah, I missed it. Ah, oh, okay. I wonder what the- I wonder how the board meeting for this went. We're gonna have a bunch of monkeys, fight some crocodile pirates. <laughs> and it's going to sell systems. Uh, probably did. <clears throat> I don't- how, how well did the, the DKC trilogy do? They all broke a million. Ah. So... I, I know they had to be somewhat successful. Here's a here's a random uh, trivia trivia question to look up. What's the what's the rare's most um, successful game? Uh, wow. Let me check that actually. Cause I'm curious. Oh, oops. It's either a banjo game, Donkey Kong, or Connect Sports. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if Connect Sports is number one. I need to stop dying. <laughs> Alright, I'm not even gonna... Getting that coin is a lot more dangerous than it's worth. the ship. I feel like there was something there. Got Mr. Snake again. Oh, I think this is, like, is, I think this is a level where you're always gonna be the snake. That's a that's a new f thing for this game. I don't I don't remember how often it happens, but. Uh, 
is this a, if there's a thing there, then there's probably a secret somewhere here. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, I see banana. Sales for rares games. Let's see. It's either GoldenEye 007 with 8 million copies. Nope, it's... It is Donkey Kong Country 1 with 9.3 million copies sold. Oh, dang. That's... That's impressive even for its time. Yeah. Modern franchises wish they could get 9 million copies. Mm. And I was being a little too modest with the Donkey Kong Country games. They all cracked 3.5 million at least. Yeah. <laughs> they... Yeah. I need to stop rushing in. Wait, where are you now? Uh, Rattle Battle. Oh, so I like how this theme is a remix of um, Gangplank Galleon from the first game. Oh yeah, I love that track. It's like, it's done, it's... Remix in a way that fits more as an actual level. Hey, there's a snake. There's someone there. Oh. I have family over. Okay. Oh, dang it. It's a DK coin, I'm assuming, so I'm gonna try for this. DK oh. coin is before reaching the star barrel. Yeah. Did you get the first bonus, find the first bonus level at the start? Um, well, I've done one bonus level. Was it before the star? Yes, it was at the start of the level. Alright, uh, where's the other one? Uh, before reaching the letter O, you'll discover a pair of couple wings. <clears throat> We've got the end side, Mister. Clearly, I didn't even see the O. I think I'm looking at the top. Selling Super NES games, and I think the uh, I think the SES, Super NES version of Street Fighter 2 is Capcom's best-selling game ever. Hmm. Well, I found a mini game. Where was it? Uh, it, it was just above a bunch of a banana arrow pointing up. Uh, I think that was the last one. Right. Well, we're gonna have to go back for something then. Yeah, that was the last bonus level. Ring. Well, considering I found all these without the guy, that was pretty good. Oh gosh. I don't trust those enemies' hitbox because I keep getting hit by them when it feels like I should have jumped. Wait, I see a water splash effect when they fell. Yeah. That's great. That is kind of <laughs> cool. <laughs> An unrelated note, I'm loving Rare's modern logo. Yeah, it's, um... It's very, uh, simple, and, um, it looks nice. You don't, you don't always have to go, like, all crazy with logos. And they've always had simple logos, like, except for when they were ultimate play the game. Mm. That's, that's 
that all held a mouthful. Wait, where, did they go by another another name before Rare? Uh, yes, like, who was it, like the 80s and 90s, they were just called Ultimate Play the Game. Huh. <laughs> Alright, gonna get to go back. Okay, so the where the O is. Oh no, at the start of the level, you must jump straight upwards to land in a hidden auto fire barrel. <clears throat> huh. There's a bunch of stuff in this level. Oh, what? Oh! I should I should have checked that area because they probably would have hit something there, but as soon as you enter the room, you can't exit, I believe. Alright, now I've got that. Seventeen cram coins. That should be. Oh, it. they have them. They reset the uh, the. They reset the banana coin. Should have gone back for it. <laughs> Aha! Oh, okay, we just have enough. Just bought him. <laughs> he just whacks us with his club. Oh, I'm sorry. What is this exactly? Uh, basically every world. Um, I think besides the first world, every every world in the game has a club uh, kiosk thing that. Unless you go to a secret bonus level, that's meant to be a lot harder than the regular levels. That's basically it. And let's see. Black Ice Battle, let's see. Watch me make these levels look like a joke. And fail at the easiest levels in the game. That's gonna happen. <laughs> oh, the red bees can't get hurt. Okay. Right. I like how, like, just by default, the uh, returns and tropical freeze flying enemies are infinitely easier to deal with because you can kill them. Well, they can't have guns in that game. Mm. Right. Dixie's. Uh, her spin is gonna help, so I'm gonna just use her. When the monkeys jump in the gap after the letter N, they should stay near the right wall. After the letter N, okay. I feel like there's something over there as well. They will enter an alcove where they must jump over a pair of zingers and pick up a treasure chest. Oh man, th okay, this guy actually steals lives. Wow. If they throw the chest at one of the foes, a cannonball will pop out of it. That was not worth it. I got... When I see lies, I just want to go for them, but then I just... Lost lies trying to get them. Ugh. Had you played a DK64 at all, though? No. Unfortunately not. Okay. I haven't played that yet. The only rare game on Wii's Virtual Console. Mm. It's like the closest we were gonna get to a, a game like that on the Wii U. <coughs> as much as I enjoyed 3D World, it didn't feel like the old kind of collectathon kind of style. Because it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Like I, I've kind, I've kind of um lined up uh, to the three D, three D land and world now because uh, I was kind of wor I was worried that they just keep making three D Mario games like that, but with Odyssey coming out this year and that being like. Basically, what I've always wanted in a 3D Mario game for the for years, um, 
I'm I'm totally I'm totally fine with how 3D land and world are now, since we have that to look forward to. And if Odyssey is the only direction for 3D Mario at this point, what happens to the people who want linear games? Uh I mean Yeah, I we're out of luck. You didn't care about us. <laughs> I, I think uh, 2 2D Mario uh, is satisfies those people enough. Because I mean I, I think it's safe to assume we're gonna get an, a new Super Mario Bros. Switch or something of the sort. I don't think I think that sub series is retired now. Uh, that would be nice. Well, it's, we're, we're probably going to see 2D Mario of some form. So, I think that part of the fan base will be satisfied at some point. It's like saying 2D Sonic is the same thing as 3D Sonic. Yeah, it's not. That, that, that's the main reason why I was kind of iffy on 3D Land and World, because why, why do we have, like, new Super Mario Bros. going on and uh, free, 3D Land and World like, why, why, why do they have to feel like a 2D game in a 3D environment when we already have new Super Mario Bros. going on? But it's not. It's a 3D game. Yeah. Oh, I didn't expect that to go all the way over there. That guy's chasing the heck out of me, jeez. <sighs> I, I, I assume you played uh, 3D World, right? Yes, and I loved it. <laughs> What's your favorite, favorite 3D Mario game, then? Probably Galaxy 2. Yes. I approve. I don't need your approval, Harry! <laughs> uh. I like both, or whatever number of varieties of 3D Marios we have. Mm. I'm not picky. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I never dis out, outright disliked 3D World. It's a great game in its own first time ever. It's a great game, period. Whatever, let the open world fanatics have their day. Yeah. So I got Crash Back is actually alive again, so I get what I needed. Yeah. With how well Entering Trilogy has done, I think I think it's safe to assume we're gonna at least get one new Crash game. I don't think Activision would Activision wouldn't greenlight a remake just because. Yeah, like apparently they were testing the waters for Crash, and I mean, considering how it's topping the charts everywhere, they have to they must be like, okay, th this this sells. We we gotta make more of this. I'd be totally okay with a CTR remake, but I want a new game. At the end, uh, more than anything, really. CTR is fine as it is. I'd like a new game. The only thing a CTR remake would really benefit from would be online. They can literally just port that over. Yeah, just put the game, put online onto it, and then you, and then just ship it. I mean, it's gonna, it's obviously gonna take a lot more work than that. They, they have to like make new art assets and stuff, but still. No, I mean, literally, they can just port the game and add I add online. I don't care about upgrading <laughs> the graphics. Uh, like, I'm not... I do not want them spending development time on that. Yeah. Not now, anyways. I'd like a proper new platformer. Yeah. Well, if you... If, if, pe if pe uh, they want to do that... Make Vicarious Visions just make an actual new platform and make some other development studio work on CTO in the background. Like, if they have to do it, then do that. Also, yes, Vicarious Visions needs to be the primary developer of Crash games from here on out. This yeah. franchise needs stability more than anything else. They need consistency, because <clears throat> it's like... 
Where am I going? Oh. I think that's where you're, I think you're- Wait, I think you're at the good place. No, it's the end. You gotta be at the letter N. Alright, I'm gonna save here because I don't trust myself. But, um... Where, where are we saying? Um... Hmm. Consistency is nice. That's, I think that's what we were saying. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, like, Vicarious Visions have uh, proven themselves with Insane Trilogy, and they made... Uh, I recently finished Huge Adventure, and I was... There are a few issues I have the, with the game, but most of it is pretty solid for a 2D crash game. And... I mean, they, they've proven themselves mo uh, more than... Um, worthy? For, they're, they're definitely more than worthy to be like the main crash developers now, so... If it, it, they, Activision would be kind of stupid to keep changing them. <coughs> but it, again, if it, if it's if they do that for a spin-off like Crash Team Racing or Crash Bash, then that's totally fine because it's a completely different kind of game. Wait, you passed by the G already? What happened to the N? Wait, did I? Yeah, you just dropped by the G. What happened to the N? I I did fall a lot, so that's probably why. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Alright, so I'm gonna go slowly. This guy doesn't know what slowly means, so... Man! That guy doesn't give up. Can we go there the end? end. Okay. Alright, um... You just stay near the right wall. They will enter an alcove, and you will just jump over a pair of zingers and pick up a treasure chest. Huh. I guess hug the right wall. Just hug it? Oh, I, don't, I didn't mean that right wall, I meant... Oh. <clears throat> Some, like, down... down somewhere? Oh, so... Should be good for this. Oh no! Wait, a load your store point. Oh right, yeah, that's true, true. I constantly forget about that for some reason. I wonder if that guy just. Chases you through the rest of the level as you leave them. Oh, no, oh, gosh, I think that was it. I think I know what to do now. Uh, speaking, uh, Speaking of like the Wii U earlier, um, what, was, what, what were some of your favorite games on that? Um, 3D World, Smash Brothers, Mario Kart 8. I didn't buy as many games as I should have. Um, jeez, <sighs> man, I just killed him. So what do I do with this? Um, let's see, just go down, throw a, find an enemy to throw that at. Okay. So find a cannonball, go two oh. floors down, and stay along the right wall. I think it disappeared. Oh. Man. This doesn't, really doesn't give you a lot of leeway. Yeah, a lot, a lot of those games you mentioned are definitely some of my favorites on the Wii U. Uh, I didn't, I enjoyed Mario Maker a lot, but I, I didn't play that as much as I really should have. Um, Tropical Freeze is definitely one of my favorites. It's, it's that's probably my favorite 2D platformer in the system. Um, 
Rise and lower. <laughs> no kidding. With you, I can never tell. <laughs> I did like Lost World a lot, though. Contrary to popular opinion. I don't Taco know. Doesn't have popular opinion. <laughs> uh, I don't know That's if I'd call friend. that one of my favorite Wii U games, but it's definitely up there. So it's just keep carrying this until you find a a, a, a thing. Stay on the right. Oh gosh. <sighs> oh wow. Did I really only own three? Oh yeah, Nintendo Land. That was fun. Oh yeah, yeah. That came with my system. And I enjoyed what I played of New Mario U. So, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, I didn't... I did not buy many games. Yeah, Mario, Mario U is easily my favorite. I think it's the best uh, new Super Mario Bros. game. I will actively defend that one. There's no, I really don't have any issues with any of them. I don't really have any issues with them, person. Personally, it's it's the. Uh, I think what it what it what the main issue was is that we got them all pretty close to one another, so it felt like fatigue. It was only the last two when they released them in the same year. I didn't have any issue yeah. with them being spaced out three years apart. That's true. <clears throat> I guess it's and. because of the whole like. Um, the areas kind of look samey, I guess. Alright, I'll give that, but I mean, I think Matt from Super Game Bros kind of brought up a fair point. There's only so many level motifs you can use. Yeah, it's true, but it felt like they weren't trying hard enough. I mean, Mario, Super Mario World doesn't really have much variety in its levels. It's true. I suppose. Like, only... Like, really only Sunshine and Galaxy that kind of break formula from what the Mario motifs look like. Yeah. Like, 3D World had a lot of uh, unique level motifs, so... I think it's they... Still, it's still generally the same Super Mario Bros. Street style stuff. It's true. Like, ice level, sand level. Well, I'm, I'm, fi I'm fine with the, the same, like, a general tropes being there, but just making them... Like, having a unique twist to them in some ways, because... Like, the backgrounds and all that kind of look too samey from one another. Fair enough. Like, I don't know, something simple like just having a level uh, completely based inside or something. I don't know. There we go. I mean, I, I, in terms of actual games, New Super Mario Bros. series is totally fine. We took a while to get to this point. Yay! Is that the only bonus here? Yep, that's it. Okay, and that was the DK coin, so we should be good. Now you can rush through the level recklessly. <laughs> I s well, it's still a hard level, so I don't want to be too reckless. Especially when you do stuff like this. <clears throat> oh, random, uh, random question about 3D World. What, what was your character of choice in that game? Mario, because I'm boring. <laughs> I go with Toad, because I like speed. That seems to be my brother's favorite character. Although I did like uh, Rosalina because of the uh, spin jump. That, that helped quite a lot. <laughs> 